in this video i will show you how i created a children child's play poster featuring chucky i hate kids i started by selecting a dark background to set the mood next i bought in this chucky image generated using meta here i masked out the background using pen tool let's place him here and begin first i need to remove his left hand and the text from the poster using the pen tool i created a path around the left hand and masked it out then i created a new layer and clipped it to this chucky layer I used the pen tool again to outline the poster and fill it with adjacent colors to cover this text. I wanted Chucky's left hand folded behind his back holding a knife. To achieve this, I used the lasso tool to create a selection, duplicated the right hand, flipped it horizontally and adjusted it to fit the left side. I placed this new hand layer below the original Chucky layer, added a new layer above it and painted in realistic shadows to create the illusion that his hand is behind his back. To define lights and shadows, assume the light source comes from the top right. So to paint the highlights and shadows accordingly, I moved this layer into a group. Then I created an exposure adjustment layer to reduce the exposure. Based on the light source, I removed this exposure from here to make them brighter. To deepen the shadows, I added another curves adjustment layer, reduced the brightness slightly, inverted the mask and painted on the mask to create darker shadows. I used the blood red brush to paint scratches on the poster and added the text I need of a fixer to stitch my face for that sinister touch. Next I need to do some color grading. To achieve a horror green tone, I added a color lookup adjustment layer with a horror blue filter. I set its blend mode to color dodge for a glowing effect and reduce its fill for balance. Then I applied a photo filter adjustment to add a green filter. To showcase Chucky hiding the knife, I am going to add a mirror here. After making adjustments to the mirror proportions, I positioned it behind Chucky. I duplicated the background, flipped it horizontally and placed it inside the mirror by creating a mask. Then I moved the two layers to a group, added a curves adjustment layer to darken the reflection to match this scene. Next, I brought in an image of Chucky's back, placed it within the mirror using the same mask from the reflection layer. Then I removed the background and made few adjustments. For the hidden knife, his hand should be behind his back, so I removed this hand. Then I duplicated Chucky's left hand and masked out unnecessary parts, then positioned it to match the perspective. Next, I added a knife image, positioned and masked it to fit in his hand and grouped all the layers for control. Finally, I used an exposure adjustment layer to make this whole group darker then remove the exposure based on the light source. To fine tune the brightness of the knife, I made a selection of the knife by holding control and clicking on its thumbnail and hide some darkness using this exposure mask. For final touches, I painted cast shadows below the mirror using the polygon laser tool and softened the edges with the mask. Then I added the poster's title using a font similar to the original movie's typography. Lastly, I merged all the layers, converted them into a smart object and added color correction using camera filter. A subtle border completed the look and there they have it. I hope you enjoyed watching this breakdown as much as I enjoyed creating it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with fellow horror fans and subscribe to the channel for more creative content.